Thanks to our combined efforts, we are now ready for the final round of the Aces Dog Fighting Competition. Put on your helmets, because it's time for Operation Turbo Dominant Eagle. In just a few hours, Team Iceland and Team Belgium will begin fighting it out in the B Champs round. This will provide the perfect cover for step one of my plan. Sly, use the catapult and your paraglider to get access to the local gunships. Land some tracking devices, then head back to the team hangar and suit up for the finals. Murray, you're up next. Use your rowboat to pull down the aircraft communication antenna. With it out of commission, the Baron will have to use an unscrambled radio frequency to call in the gunship for backup. If that happens, I'll be ready with our secret weapon. And with the tracking devices installed, I'm guaranteed not to miss. In the end, though, it'll be up to slide. This is a sudden death competition. The first team to take out last year's champ wins. That's if the Black Baron doesn't take out all the competition first. Okay then. Um, Sly, you're up first, I guess. How many missions? I guess just the two, the Sly one and the Murray one, and before the, you know, the main event. I can deal with that. Seems simple enough, ish. Oh no! Okay. We're not gonna get caught out by you, that would be silly. Definitely gonna rob from you though. You never know, you might have a gold pocket watch or something. Or a silver medal. It looks bronze. It really does though. Like that happened in the last game. It's like, oh look, a silver medal that is absolutely not silver. So I like how they can't hear me. You know, I'm making very loud noises, destroying chairs and tables and stuff. I just want some coinage, you know. You know how it is. No hard feelings. Up there, right? Yeah, sure is. Do I have to climb the, the castle again? Oh, oh, actually, is the castle still there? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Does that work? It sure does. Oh, that's cool. Excellent! The B-Champs dogfight is beginning! With these guys going at it, no one will notice as you slip onto the gunships and plant a tracking device. Sounds straightforward enough. Where'd you get these trackers? They look kind of funny. Best I could do on short notice. They're sensitive to extreme changes in altitude. You'll have to pull this job off at high elevation or it's a bust. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Let's go. Music's really good. Is this gonna reach? Uh, yes. Barely. <laughs> Really, really barely. Excellent. Um, the first tracker's in place. Oh. If I'm not mistaken, there should be a pressure vent near the front of the aircraft. Yeah, I see it. It might be just the thing to give you a lift. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. I'm mildly worried about reaching the next airship, if I'm being perfectly honest. Uh, because I failed. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought was gonna happen. Yeah, oh! Oh, it did count the one that I did, though. Oh, that's quite generous. Okay, well, thank you, game. That is actually extremely generous, I think. Okay, let's try this one, since it's moving towards me. Okay, it's no longer moving towards me. Uh, again, quite worried about reaching this, in the respect that I won't. Hey, look, it's death. Yeah, it sure is. This is, like, strangely difficult. <laughs> Maybe I just need to be patient and wait. You know what, let's do that. That's a plan. Okay, I don't know what you're doing. So, Sly, what are you doing? I'm just trying to get onto the pressure vents. Why are you going that way? No! 
<laughs> no! Oh, just kill me. <laughs> you suck! Okay, so we know that instead of turning around all the way, you're not going to do that. How foolish of me to not know this. No, you know what? I don't trust myself. That's not right. Timing's not right. Timing for this is atrociously difficult. <laughs> there we go. That's more like it. More or less nailed it. <laughs> Okay. One over there, and one over there. Well, this one's moving towards me, so I should go for this one next. I think I'm about to make it. Yeah, looks like I have. Simple enough. One to go. It is on the other side. I will not make that from here. Uh, what can I make from here? Well, I'm sort of moving towards it now. If it turns left, maybe. If it can't turn right, it will crash into buildings. Screw it, I'm gonna go for it. I will regret all things. I'm slowly but surely starting to regret all things. It might just work, you know? It totally did. Nailed it! Yeah, actually, that went really well. <laughs> Could have gone a lot worse. Barrett's communication antenna is held up by three support beams. Pull them out of place, and the whole array will fall apart. Don't worry. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's rowing and breaking stuff. He wasn't bad at rowing. I'll give him that. He was all right. Ah! Ah! Run! Row faster! Oh god. Keep it up! The falling planes are dangerous, but they're perfect cover for this operation. Oh, yeah. You're not kidding. There's so many falling planes. Dangerous doesn't really cut it. <laughs> Go faster! This is actually very cool. I like this a lot. The Murray has broken it. Yay! How many falling planes are there? It's an unreasonable amount. I can't see any now. Maybe it's because they all died. Oh, we're going. All right, cool. Well, this is it. I am the tiger, pal. Look for the Black Baron. Take him out and this competition is all over. And go easy on the throttle. It's been sticking lately. Quit worrying. I'll see you in the winner circle. Yeah, we got this. He says. We we may not got this. I mean, it's not bad. So do we just need to take him out? Which I'm guessing is the, the black one. <laughs> you know, I'm assuming he's the black baron. Yeah, so we take him out and that's it, right? Is it just me or is this like not massively difficult? <laughs> I 
Like, I don't, I don't think so, at least. Uh, was that you over there? It sure was. I am annihilating you. I'm assuming someone can't just snipe them at the last second, right? I win! <laughs> that was easy! Gunships and private jet, <laughs> please come in. What even? <laughs> that is insane. Okay. Gore. Settle it. Beware, my boy. I've trained ten years, Mr. Captain. Enthusiasm is my passion. If you fight as well as you fly, this shouldn't take long. On guard. Let's see what you can do, shall we? You're all right. You, you do all right. You do the job. Wow. Not that great. Oh, nearly killed you. Yeah, and just nearly absolutely destroyed you. No big deal. Got some health back as well. Pretty nice. I mean, I just need to hit you for like, just just need to smack your hand and you're dead. You're a dead man. Or alternatively, get the other side of the plane, send you into the blades. Because that won't do too well for you, I don't think. This so far is the easiest fight of the game. <laughs> Maybe too quick to jump. Well, I'll just say that, actually. The, the boss of the second one was quite easy. But that was a gimmick, and it was, it was a cool gimmick. I liked it. Kind of reminds me of um, the fourth boss of uh, Sly 2, actually. Was it fourth boss? Fourth chapter? I can test her. What was that? Actually, no, that might have been chapter five. That was a good boss, though. Yeah, it was chapter five. That was a good boss. Reminds me of that one. Yeah, you've got to stop hitting me. I've got to get my health back. I see where we're going now. Now we're fighting both of them at once. Oh man, if you jump, that's quite deadly actually, as it turns out. Oh, what? Okay. You now I said this was easy, changed my mind. Suddenly got hard. Suddenly got way harder. Yes, what I've noticed about this fight is that the, uh, the Baron himself is not massively challenging, but his men... His men are very powerful. That's gonna explode. Oh, and her him, apparently. That's actually kind of cool, it's a nice touch. It gets both. Jump, 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 jump! Oh. Get him. Yeah, there we go! See that coming? But it makes sense. Wait, you? You're Penelope, the Baron's mechanic. No, no, you are the Black Baron. Suppose someone was bound to find out sooner or later. I guess I'm kind of relieved. But why? Look, let's talk on the ground where it's safe.
It was quite a revelation. Penelope and the Black Baron were one and the same. But before we could even process this turn of events, we were rushed to the winner's circle. Somehow, against all odds, we become this year's champions. There was a bit of an awkward moment between Bentley and Penelope. I guess the photos they'd sent each other over the internet were a bit exaggerated. That night, Penelope explained that the disguise was invented to get her past the dogfighting league's strict age requirements. However, after winning, the Baron became a celebrity and she found herself putting on the costume more and more often. But now, with the Black Baron out of the picture, she was free to take up a new path. And she joined the gang without hesitation. The next day, our newest recruit treated us to a week-long aerial tour of Holland. She was fitting in just fine. Awesome. Cool. All right, a cold alliance. Cold. Who have we encountered in the past who's been related to the cold? The yak guy from the second game, whatever his name was. Maybe. Maybe. Guess we'll find out next time. See ya!